911. What is the address of your emergency? Emergency dispatch. What is the address of the incident? My my husband called. He's turning. 911. What's the location of your emergency? No one calls 911 because we're having a good day. Usually we're calling it because we're having a bad day, or hopefully what will be a good day. So. It's nice to know that when someone calls, we're actively sending them help. I want you to count out loud. We're going to count like one, this. Two, one, two, three, four. three, four. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Just like that helps all right. It's place. weird because we don't normally get to know the results of our calls. Normally we just, you go ready, you take the next one, and you don't really ever know what happened to them. So it was, it was really nice getting that sort of closure on a call. Okay, what's going on today? We're always told you do make a difference, you do help, but this was a solid reminder of we really do. People really do survive horrible medical traumas that happen to them because we're able to get them the assistance. If he's breathing normally, his chest rising and falling oh. normally. Intermittent breathing. For Intermittent me it's just every day, it's just, I just, I took the call and I did my job and I didn't even think about it. I did it the same way that I handle every single CPR because I just think that everyone deserves the same uh, level of care no matter what's going on, uh, no matter how much the caller might not want our help. <laughs> um, I, don't know, I just feel like spreading awareness about CPR is really important. Being able to recognize when somebody needs CPR is incredibly important. He's breathing for a moment. Okay, yeah, no, the snoring, that's not normal. I've that's even had snoring. medical professionals, when it's their own family members, they can't remember how to do CPR. Like, they need someone to walk them through each step, and I've had that where I've had a caregiver, absolutely, she's like, I can't remember how to do it. I'm like, that's okay. Luckily, I do. How's his breathing? He's breathing very slowly. Is it normal? No, it's not. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start chest compressions right now, okay? It's incredibly important. Uh, I said a lot of people, they watch the medical shows, and it always is, like, super, like, beautified, glamorized. But it's hard, and it's scary, and it's difficult, and it's terrifying. But it is one of the few things that you can do that you're not a doctor, but you can do to save somebody's life.